let us discuss squares because every formula has square so if you have to eliminate formula in aptitude then squares are very important you have to know squares till 125 for sure if it is possible to learn till 250 that will be mind blowing so listen to me i'll explain you a couple of methods whichever you feel comfortable you can apply that and uh, wow. listen to me the first thing i want you to do is you have to learn squares till 25 till 25 at any cost you have to know them by heart so you have to be very quick in saying squares till 25 so let us feel as if you know till 25 you know till 25 so let me explain you squares till 125 first there is one method where you can learn squares till 125 there is another method where you can learn squares till 250 so let us start with squares till 125 so every time any number asked till 125 you have to realize whether it is close to 50 or close to 100 suppose for example i give you a question say 43 square i can happily say this is a number which is close to 50 how much close to 50 7 close to 50 so 7 square 49 this is my half answer 49 and this is close to 50 but it is less than 50 so when it is less than 50 how much less than 50 7 less than 50 so subtract it from 25 this is the base number which you have to take help because 50 square is 2500 that is the reason i want you to focus on these two numbers 49 is over so this 25 so because it is 7 less than 50 subtract 7 from 25 25 minus 7 is 18 so your answer is 18 49 with one example it will become difficult say 44 square 6 close to 50 6 square 36 6 less than 50 so 25 minus 6 19 it's as simple as that the question is 59 square 9 close to 50 9 square is 81 less than or more than forget about it you will write how much close to 50 that square 81 9 more than 50 so add it to 25 so 25 plus 9 is 34 your answer is 3481 3481 suppose if the question is 52 square 52 square 2 more than 50 2 square is 4 you'll write 0 4 and 2 more than 50 so 25 plus 2 is 27 so your answer is 2704 it is 2704 suppose if the question is 62 square again close to 50 not close to 100 how much close to 50 12 close to 50 12 square is 144 i'll write 44 i'll only write 44 and i'll remember one now it is 12 more than 50 so add it add it to 25 add it to 25 every time it is close to 50 that means you take help of 25 if it is close to 50 if it is more than 50 add it if it is less than 50 subtract it from 25 25 plus 12 37 but already i had one carry so it is 37 plus 1 38 so my answer will be 3844 it is 3844 i'll give you another example suppose if the question is 66 square it is 16 more than 50 16 square is 256 i'll write 56 i'll take 2 carry it is 16 more than 50 so 25 plus 16 25 plus 16 is 41 41 plus 2 is 43 so my answer is 4356 suppose if the question was 6.6 .6 square because it is square there is one number after decimal there will be two numbers after decimal so my answer will be 43.56 suppose if this question the previous question was 0 0.62 square because there are two numbers after decimal there will be four numbers after decimal my answer will be 0 0.3844 so even if the question is in points you can do it in this way but listen to me people get confused here so i don't want you to get confused suppose if the question is 37 square it is close to 50 13 less than 50 13 square is 169 i'll write 69 and the carry is plus one it is not minus one because minus 13 square is also plus 169 so i got it as plus one carry then it is 13 less than 50 so subtract it subtract it from 25 25 minus 13 is 12 12 plus 1 is 13 so my answer is 1369 it's not 12 minus 1 it's 12 plus 1 again i'll give you another example one last example of this kind when the numbers are close to 50 suppose you get a question like say like say 36 square 14 14 square is 196 96 1 carry 25 minus 14 25 minus 14 is 11 11 plus 1 is 12 so my answer is 1296 what if the question is 73 square 73 square still it is close to 50 we all know square still 25 so 23 square is 529 i'll write 29 i'll take 5 carry 
and 25 plus 23 because it is 23 more than 50 i have to add it to 25 25 plus 23 is 48 48 plus 5 is 53 so my answer is 5329 this is how i do when the numbers are close to 50 what if the numbers are close to 100 suppose if there is a question say 96 square how much close to 100 4 4 square 16 i'll write 16 and it is less than 100 less than 100 is subtraction i have to subtract 4 but i will not subtract 4 from 25 i will not subtract 4 from 50 i will not subtract 4 from 75 i will not subtract 4 from 100 i will subtract 4 from the given number 96 minus 4 96 minus 4 is 92 so my answer is 9216 you'll understand it better suppose my question is 93 square 7 less 7 square is 49 and 93 minus 7 93 minus 7 is 86 suppose my question is uh, say 98 square 2 less than 100 2 square is 0 4 i said i have to write two digit number 0 4 98 minus 2 is 96 so my answer is 9604 what if the question is 109 square 9 more than 100 9 square is 81 and 109 plus 9 because it is more than 100 i have to add i have to add it to the given number 109 plus 9 is 118 so i'll do it in this way and if there was a point here 10.9 square my answer would have been 118.81 if it was 1.09 square my answer would have been 1.1881 suppose if there is a question this is important 113 square 13 square is 169 i'll write 69 one carry because i am allowed to write only a two digit number in the last two digit tens place and units place 113 plus 13 126 plus 1 127 my answer will be 127 Six nine. I can extend it till 124 square. 124 square. I'll go for 24 square. 24 square is 576. 76 5 carry. 124 plus 24. 148. 148 plus 5. 148 plus 5 is 153. My answer is 15376. 84 square. It is 16 less. 16 square is 256. I'll write 56. I'll take 2 carry. As I said, it is only plus 2 carry, not minus 2. 84 minus 16. 68. 68 plus 2 is 70. So my answer will be 7056. If it is 77 square, it is 23 less. 23 square. 23 square is 529. 29 5 carry. Plus 5 carry again. And here 77 minus 23. 77 minus 23 is 54 54 plus 5 is 59 so my answer will be 5929 so this is how i do every question till 125 any number ending with 5 15 square 25 square 35 square 45 square or 125 square 115 square it can be anything ending with 5 that means it will end with 25 and then forget about 5 now 5 becomes 25 1 into next number 1 into 2 next consecutive number 1 into 2 2 so it is 225 here also 5 becomes 25 2 into 3 625 5 becomes 25 3 into 4 1225 5 becomes 25 4 into 5 2025 5 becomes 25 12 into 13 even if you have two digits here 12 the complete number into 13 12 into 13 is 156 so it is 156 25 25 and 11 into 12 11 into 12 is 132 so it is 132 25. So, any number ending with 5, you can apply this. This will be very easy way to answer. Numbers ending with 5, don't apply it for 14 square or 24 square or 48 square. This will not work. As I said, I will also explain you a method till 250. Very, very simple. Suppose if the question is 72 square. In this method, you have to go for 2 square, 2 square, write 4. Now, you will write only a single digit. You will not write double digit. 4. 2 square is 4. 7 2s are 14 make it double or i can call it as 7 into 2 into 2 7 2s are 14 14 2s are 28 write 8 take 2 carry now 7 square 49 49 plus 2 51 your answer is 5184 you will understand it better pay your attention 63 square 3 square 9 6 into 3 into 2, 6 into 3 into 2, 6 into 3, 18, 18 twos are 36, 6, 3 carry, then 6 square, 6 square is 36, 36 plus 3 is 39, my answer is 3969, 3969, as I said this is applicable 1 till 250, you can use it uh, for questions like say 213 square, 
first thing is divide it into two sets. One is 21, the other is 3. 3 square, 9. 21 into 3. 21 into 3 into 2. 21 into 3. 63. 63 into 2. 126. Write 6. Take 12 carry. 21 square. 21 square is 441. 441 plus 12. It is 453. Your answer for this question will be 45369. 45369. As I said, every time you get, a, get to solve these questions, you will do it in this way. So, this is another method which will help you for every question of any kind. Even if the question is 224 square, you can do it 4 square. 22 and 4. 4 square is 16. Write 6. Take 1 carry. Take 1 carry. 22 into 4 into 2. 22 into 4 is 88. 88 into 2 is 176. 176 plus 1 is 177. Take 17 carry. 22 square is 484. 484 plus uh, 17. 484 plus 17 is 501. Your answer is 50176. So, this is how you will do squares. I will come up with square roots and cube roots in the next video. Thank you so much.